Hey guys, it's Jasmine. I got to hang out with one of my favorite comics, Ada Rodriguez. And not only was she super funny, she was very real. We got to experience some of that truth serum you can hear on her podcast. Check it out. Hey, it's Jasmine. I'm here with Let's Go DFW, hanging out with Ada Rodriguez. What's up, guys? I'm so excited to talk to you. I know tonight you're actually going to be performing at Megafest. I am. I'm performing performing with uh, Lavelle Crawford and Cheryl Underwood mm -hmm. and Tony Roberts. Quite a few people, Brandon T. Jackson, and we are coming to tell jokes for the church folk. <laughs> now, I understand in your stand-up, you talk about all kinds of great personal topics, you know, being a single mom, mm -hmm. being Latina. What's your favorite thing to convey on stage? What's your favorite thing to talk about? Um, I love talking about values and not uh, the set of values that some people think they know the answer. Just connecting with humanity. Mm -hmm. I think we got, we've gotten so caught up in these re re political parties have turned into like people's favorite teams. <laughs> Everybody's gotten so caught up with, you know, the labels that they belong to and we've lost the sense of the human thing that connects us all and that's what I'm attached to. I'm attached to causes and I'm attached to, you know, agendas and, and, and things that are, you know, I want to, the issues as opposed to you know, being a Republican, a Democrat, or a Baptist. I just think it's important to reconnect with humanity and talk about some of the things, some of the social issues mm -hmm. that are really society wrecking monsters. Now you just mentioned about your culture and like people saying it's not feminine. Do you find that like, like being a female comedian, men always want to challenge you on it? Like if you meet a new guy, they're like, let me tell you a joke. Or... Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, like that, the internet dating thing, my friends and I, we all tried it. I put I was a UPS driver <laughs> because when I say stand up comedian, then every guy tries to out funny me. And it's just, it's so, for, I hate telling people that I'm a stand-up comic because the first thing they say, oh, tell me a joke. Oh my gosh, yes. And I'm like, do you go to, uh, do, have you ever met a dentist and open your mouth and say, hey, can you check this out for me? How are my molars? It, there are challenges and everything. I just don't live by the, my mantra is there are no victims here, just volunteers. Mm -hmm. Victims are people who cannot change what's going on. So if you're being raped, you're being held down, you're a victim. But if somebody is treating you poorly and you can walk away, then you're a volunteer. So for me, um, I just, whenever that situation is, is taking place in comedy where I'm being treated poorly because I'm a woman, I just remove myself from the situation and I just go where I'm celebrated. Yeah. And, you know, what, who said it? Steve Martin, go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. Mm -hmm.